welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa B and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so today I'm starting a vlog. It happens to be Friday again. Um, my dog decides she wants to play right now. Cupcake, seriously, you've been being lazy all day and now the moment I want to film, give me about two minutes. Two minutes. I need two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So, let's hope she gives me two minutes. I mean, you know, kids, when they know their parents are busy, <laughs> no. They're on an important phone call. Yeah. Now, okay, so today's vlog, I'm going to be cleaning my room because, girl, it's, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I've actually been sick quite a bit this spring break. This is the last day of the week, Friday before the weekend, before I have to go back to work. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not gonna tell you, but. Yeah, so, I, uh, guys, you guys will have to get a story time from me for when my neighbors gave me a whole, but <laughs> I've been sick all freaking week. Uh, I think I already owe you guys the story time, so maybe that's what I'll film this week, cause girls on Broke Street. <laughs> So I don't have hauls coming up besides one I have already filmed um, that will be up this week, uh, this coming up week. Um, so yeah, I'm basically going to clean my room. I'm going to show you the condition that it's in now and we're going to clean it. I still have some Ross clothes that I had wanted to try on for you guys. I might also do that as part of this vlog. I don't know if I'll do it today, but I'll add it to this, I think. Um... And yeah, so let's check it, take a look at my room. So, condition. This is the condition of my bed. <clears throat> I cleaned or I washed that uh, cover that goes over your mattress. I'm gonna be changing my sheets. And my clean sheets, I think, are somewhere over here in this clean clothes. I need to empty out that hamper, put away the clean clothes. Put away all these shoes. Look, there's the toy she was playing with that now she has no interest in. <sighs> Up here, this goes on my bed. This is from my baby. He gave it to me when we first started seeing each other, which you guys still don't know a lot about him, but he gave me that. This is an electric blanket that I've been using because I had been sick and like not feeling with it, so I need to put that away. I have all these, some raw stuff, and all these gorgeous shoes. I want to do a shoe lookbook from the shoes that I picked up at Ross. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. These are the pillows that belong on my bed. These boxes here, you guys all know, and that Forever 21 bag, and those shoes right there, those are all my Poshmark stuff. So if you still have not checked out my Poshmark, girl, I'm going to put it in the description this time. I'm going to make sure that I do it. I want you guys to go check out my closet. I mean, if you're interested, if you're around my size, um, clothes, that stuff got to go. And my closets and drawers are also full of stuff that got to go. Mostly because I've been on my weight loss journey, like I have already said, more than one time. Um, then, of course, like, all my makeup area needs to be cleaned. Mostly it's switching out my bed stuff, putting my shoes and clothes. This tripod, I brought it out because I was going to film. Guys, look at these cute ass shoes that I got from Ross. Literally, I don't think, I think I got like two other things, so it's not going to be a haul, but super cute. Guess, <laughs> little chunky shoes. They're so cute for spring, so excited that I've found them and so excited to wear them. All right, now we're going to speed up the process, and you're going to watch me clean. <laughs> Bye.
so my nose ring. Okay, so I've been working in my room, shuffled through my Poshmark stuff because I'm going to have somebody come from a Facebook Marketplace post to come look at some clothes because I'm like trying to push some of this clothes out. Also, the Facebook Market group that I had joined didn't accept my post for like months, so it's an old post. Anyways, anyways, she's somebody who's bought from me before, so she's going to come in, look at what I have. I'm going to show you the update in my room, and then I want to go add some purple to my hair, and I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm going to go to my restroom and do it myself. So while I was shuffling my Poshmark clothes, this, these are some items that I need to take pictures of. She's not going to look at those, or I'm not offering those. Um, those shoes just move from that chair over there here so I need to do something with that and then that hamper's gone and all that clothes is put away but I still have this uh, most of it's that new clothes from forever 21 and then there's a couple of tops here that I ended up buying from Goodwill I know who am I this still has a lot going on. And then there's H3. If you watch them, comment down below. Let me know. And then this is still a hot suey mess. That box, is, the other box is in my living room because she's going to come and take a look. And I didn't even get a chance to tell you guys. Look, my orchid baby only has two flowers left. If you guys don't know, they last about... Oh, I think 30 to 45 days or something like that, the flowers do. And then they start dying. Um, and then I've already looked up, you're supposed to trim it somewhere down here. I looked up the video and then in a few months you can grow another one. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna... All right guys, so I'm back with it. I worked on my room for a while. I showed you guys, but my phone cut off, so now I'm in my bathroom with my camera. I'm going to be uh, dyeing basically everywhere where there's a little bit of blonde, purple, but I'm gonna go for like a pastel -y purple. We'll see. It's just, I had purple, so I decided I wanted to try it. Um, my apologies if you can't hear because of the fan or because of the music. But, um, here we go. So I actually went ahead and turned down the music a bit because I was gonna tell you guys about how I got sick. Oh no, my battery's flashing at me, so I think it's gonna die. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to recording on my phone if this dies or when this dies. Um, so we'll see how far we get. But I'm going to be using Manic Panic. If you've been following me for a while, Janie used this on my hair a couple of summers ago, I think. And I had a whole extra one that hasn't been opened. So I'm going to be using that. And this is in the color Purple Haze. I have a mixing bowl and brush. I'm going to be mixing it with conditioner because I don't want it to be as potent. And I'm hoping to get that lilac effect. We will see. Um, yeah, and then here I got my juice, and it's nothing crazy, it is, um, mixed berry, it's the blue one, Powerade Zero. <clears throat> it actually doesn't have that much ice, because I misplaced it, and then I found it. So, yeah, I've been sick, so this is spring break, this is Friday, as I mentioned earlier in this video, and, um, I don't know beginning last Friday so like a week ago literally I was sick um, I thought I had like a UTI I didn't think I did I know I did um, and you guys can think whatever you want I've never had a UTI before so I just thought like hey this sounds like what people have said before about a UTI I looked up the symptoms it looked pretty on par with what other people had said and what I had thought. By the way, I've never done this to my own hair, so if I'm doing it wrong, girl, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. Saying like that uh, primer from um, 
Okay, so just as suspected, my camera died, but, um, what do you call it? It's already charging the battery, so we're gonna film on here for the next few minutes or whatever and see what happens. <laughs> I already got myself dirty. Really, Vanessa? This is hard doing this for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, let me see how much time do I have. Okay. So I was really sick with like a UTI. Like by Friday, I didn't realize it was a UTI, but by Friday, my back and my kidneys were hurting. So I ended up getting on an appointment with a physician on ReadyMed, and um, they prescribed me antibiotics and some pain medicine for the actual UTI. And I, um, what else? Then, soon after that, the UTI was coupled with my wisdom teeth coming in and severe fever and chills <laughs> for days. Like, I could not get that under control. This went on from Friday afternoon well into Tuesday. Um... Yeah, so I was having fever and chills to the point where I could not sleep. I was waking up every night in a sweat. I was waking up every night getting ice packs. I was waking up. Um, I also had to get a heating pad because I was getting chills to the point where it would take me out for an entire hour minimally. So... Yeah, it was not a fun time. And this went on for days as I was trying to recover from the UTI. Um, it was just not giving what it was supposed to give. And this was spring break. Um, then finally, Tuesday, I have been in communication with my sister who's out of town and I had also been in communication with my mom throughout this time and I don't know why I just thought of it because by Tuesday not only was I having UTI I was recovering from my UTI I was having severe pain from my wisdom teeth to the point where like my jaw was hurting the back of my head was hurting my neck was hurting my shoulders were hurting and the sides of my mouth were just taking turns on who was going to punish me and then I started getting digestive issues. Digestive issues meaning like my stomach just felt upset, nothing could soothe it. I was already not like drinking much but water and now I didn't want to eat. And it wasn't vomit or diarrhea and I wouldn't even say at this point it was constipation. If I could describe it as anything it felt like bloating and just like discomfort. And so finally I ended up reaching out to my mom and I was like, yo, any chance you think this could be ojo? Do you think somebody gave me ojo? And then she's like, yo, that's actually a good idea. Somebody probably did. So she walked me through how to salvage myself. So I ended up that evening um, 
praying and rubbing an egg on my body. I mean, if you guys know what I mean, comment down below. Maybe an emoji of an egg. If you know what, it, if you know, you know. And um, she goes, the way you're gonna find out if somebody had get, gave you ojo, the egg's gonna get heavy right away, or the egg will start to get heavy. And literally, I kid you guys not, I know, I'm not even done. I'm not even doing this anymore because I'm telling you guys the story. But I kid you not, I started rubbing the egg on my body. And she told me, like, to do long crosses. Anyways, as I was praying, and I kid you not, I did a first couple of crosses, like, across my face and across my abdomen. And as I was going down to my legs, like, the egg just felt super heavy. I finished... And she said, if it's really bad, you can go ahead and do two eggs. I've done that before. So I went ahead and did two eggs and I put them in a cup of water or half a cup of water, just like she had instructed me to. And then she, I, after that, I laid on my heating pad or my heating blanket and I fell asleep for a couple of hours. When I woke up, I, I sent pictures of it to my mom and she's like, Oh my gosh, definitely. You had a hole. You should start feeling better. And I kid you guys not. When I woke up from my nap, I like burped. And then um, I started to slowly feel better. Like I couldn't even go out to go get food. I couldn't like, I was not in, I guess, not in a condition to do anything for days. And uh, I started to feel better slowly. By Wednesday afternoon, I'd say I was feeling more like myself. But I just thought it was like super crazy and I could not believe it. Now, there's a whole story why I feel like it's my neighbors who gave me it. And not like just like a random stranger. And it's not because my neighbors think I'm hot. When we're watching me if you guys don't know like ojo can just be like basically it's like the evil eye like people wishing bad upon you that part i do think is from my neighbors but it can also happen like uh if somebody just uh oh that baby's so cute and doesn't touch the baby then it can get, make the baby sick this can also happen to grown adults like it did in my case. And not saying that anybody saw me and thought I was cute, but I'm giving the credit to my neighbors because I told you guys that I would be giving you guys a story time about them. I did something that they had to not have liked. And ever since I did said thing, um, I've been sick. So some might come call it karma. Um, because I did good out of myself or so out of myself and I started to feel better. I'm going to chop it up to be an ojo or the evil eye. Somebody wishing bad things upon me. And someone who is a public figure, somebody who is trying to make it in social media, like, I could foresee that happening more. So I want to get myself some, a bracelet, uh, to ward off the evil eye because that's the first time that I've ever experienced and knew that's what it was um, but it did not feel good I literally felt like I was on a deathbed and my boyfriend's out of town and my sister's out of town and I just felt so alone and sad but yeah okay so I just washed my hair. You guys didn't see me finish because my phone ran out of space again. But I'm on my camera now. It's still not fully charged, but it should be enough to get me through what I want to film here. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna blow dry it tonight, so you guys may not see it till tomorrow. The girl who's supposed to come and look at that clothes still is not here, but says she's coming. The only reason why I'm okay with it, because it's getting later in the day, is because I do know her. Or we, I do, she has built some rapport with me in the sense like she has purchased clothing from me before. So, I'm gonna be looking a little homely when she gets here, but 
Here in a minute, I'm gonna go strap on a bra, the audacity, uh, and try to get decent looking before I have somebody come in and shop through some clothes. Obviously, it's not lilac, it's still wet. You guys will have to see it once it's dried, but I don't know that I'm gonna do that right now because I have other things that I need to do, like the before mentioned. Not a lot of dye came out into the tub when I rinsed it. Probably because I used conditioner mixed with it. <clears throat> I did expect more, but I just hope I didn't miss a piece and there's gonna be like some blondie somewhere. <laughs> that would be weird. So, yeah. And when I went to the living room to look, it looks like my neighbors are moving. So I know they moved in like in July, so I don't know if it's one or both of them, but they're moving. Can't say that I'm upset about it though. <coughs> Rinse off these little clips that were in my hair. This towel stinks like stinks like when you don't put it in the dryer fast enough. Kind of stinky. Since it's wet, I'm gonna hang it here for now. <clears throat> I'm also gonna brush my teeth. I'm like, why is this not like... I don't know. I ate some leftover teriyaki chicken that I made yesterday. <clears throat> you guys anymore tonight then I'll talk to you guys sometime this weekend I hope you guys are having a blessed day I guess and so I click the camera back on bye so today is Saturday the next day let me see if I can turn this off um and my baby is on his way over to my place so i'm getting ready so that i can look good i haven't seen him like in nine days because he's been out of town so i'm really excited i am also filming a couple of tiktoks i think i'm gonna go with a brown look for um a euphoria maddie moment and um i was gonna show you guys that this and being able to film a look here's my ring light it's in the corner that's the best place that it can go and then this is here with this window here however there's like nowhere to put my tripod um i could put like a small one here maybe or here but they're not tall enough or if that one is tall enough, like it's a weird angle that I have to be positioned the name just to fill the, film the makeup look. So maybe this week, now that he's back, maybe we will rearrange my room and we'll make a video soon. I guess I gotta keep you guys posted cause I'm not for sure when that's gonna happen or if it's gonna look good the way I move it. So um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick today because I don't know that I will hop on here again. Um, but yeah, girl, I'm excited to see him. And I know you guys don't know much about him, but I'm, I'm going to be filming a video about that soon because I think I'm going to be slowing down on my hauls. We will see. All right. Well, I guess I'll talk to you guys later if I don't hop back on, hop back on here. All right. Bye. All right, 
well, hey guys, it's the next day. Today is Sunday. I was right about not getting back on to vlog. My boyfriend ended up coming over and I'm looking like a scrub even though it's like five o'clock in the evening. Um, this is residual from yesterday. I don't think I ever showed you guys how the purple turned out. This is what she's giving today. I haven't really washed it. I need to wash it because I did add conditioner whenever I dyed it. Um, so it didn't give the lilac that it wanted, but it is purple. She's here. Um, and it's looking extra bright because of the sun, but it's actually pretty pretty in person. Um, but right now I wanted to show you guys that I'm sending off some other Poshmark stuff. I feel like that's consuming my life, but it has now become kind of like a side hustle. So if you're looking for a side hustle, check out Poshmark. And also if you, you want to buy some clothes, check out my Poshmark. Um, but I'm going to show you guys, um, what we got here today. I've already printed my labels. Let's see. Can I hold this? Let's see if I can actually just use the tripod part. Hold up. It's like a little handheld tripod. All right. <clears throat> so, okay, so I sold this Janice Joplin um, crop tea and it's brand new with a tag on it. I bought it, I believe last summer but and then I started losing a lot of weight and it doesn't quite look as good so I might as well sell it and make money. I've also sold this bralette that is actually gently used. I sold, this is over the weekend, I put some things on sale to make some sales. This Ava and Biv jacket, it's actually pretty durable and whoever bought it got a really good deal on it. And then the last thing that I sold this weekend is this torrid tool skirt. It is so freaking beautiful. This buyer also got a still, even though they were trying to act some kind of way. Um, which Poshmark, a lot of people do try to haggle, but this girl with that tool skirt was doing the most i'm like girl i'm not even asking all that much like it's literally a steal like that skirt is gorgeous and it's also torrid so i don't even know why you're trying to trip but she was trying to trip <laughs> um and i'm oh yeah and my boyfriend i just keep saying boyfriend my boyfriend actually brought this to me from las vegas he was actually there for spring break with a couple of his family members and um he actually won it for me at like a carnival game he had shown me some other things that he had won but that's what he brought me back and i did spend some time with him yesterday hoping to spend some time with him this evening we'll see how that pans out i don't think i told you guys but i'll tell you now he has children <laughs> So that's who I'm buying, 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 okay, no, no, no. What am I trying to say? That's who I'm in competition for, for time. Not that it's a competition, but like, there's other people. Hold on. Yeah, so th those are the other people that take up his time. So I'm hoping to see him this evening. Um, I need to wash this hair and I think I'm going to take the dogs on a walk. I guess, let me pack this up. I wanted to show you guys the Poshmark stuff before I packed it up because I think last time I showed you guys once it was already packed up. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that up and then I think I'm going on a walk with the dogs and then I think I'm going to shower and wash this hair. Um, and also, this happened to my vanity yesterday when I did a makeup look. You guys will see it on my Instagram Reels before I... I guess I popped in here to show you that I was doing the makeup look, but you guys will see it on Instagram Reels. If you guys are not following me on Instagram yet, like, literally, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
um it's free <laughs> you should follow me there i'm trying to get it popping i'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribe subscribers a thousand followers there i want a thousand subscribers here too but one day at a time one day at a time i don't know why i did that i don't know a song that starts like that and your girl cannot sing obviously uh, look at the moment where I know I have to work tomorrow and I'm just avoiding it like it doesn't exist. I'm trying to keep my cool. Anyways, I guess I will let you guys go.